hello. And we all know school buses come in all kinds of shapes, small, big, medium size, and everything on between. However, they may not look pretty, some of them do, but they still the safest way of transportation in the United States. Today we're gonna talk about how to know our buses. I'm assuming that if you're new to buses, you don't know how to operate everything. I had to be told by somebody what I know. And I don't know at all anyway. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this. These are the emergency exit. Okay, they're not, then this is not here for ventilation. All buses have heater, but that not all buses have air condition. Like you can see this unit has air condition. After 2017, in this area of Texas, they are required to have air condition now. Before that, none of them did. Only the ones that are used for special need, special education. So this is supposed to be closed at all times. Okay, if you wanna open it, you push and it's center on the side and they will open. And some people use this for ventilation also, but they are not for that. They are emergency exit read and get familiar on how to open it so in case of an emergency and this is obviously only used when the bus fall on the side if it's laying on the side you're not going to be able to use the window because one of them will be on the bottom of the bus on the ground and the other one will be unable to reach it, it will be like this one it's hard for you to get out of here rather you will use one of these windows so these are the windows there are emergency exit and just get familiar with your bus and they do make a noise when they open by accident they will be like even if it's not open but it's barely open it's gonna make that noise and you don't you're not gonna know where it's coming from because they all trigger the same alarm this one is, is one two there's another one right there and and two windows on each side so that make it six plus the the rear door it will make that noise too okay this door right now i do not have the key on the on the ignition but it will make it the key is now on the ignition it's, it's doing its show like you gotta let it be awake see Remember I told you, if it's not all the way close, it, it might look close, but it's not all the way close, so it's going to do that noise. I don't want to open this one because uh, uh, it's not going to make that noise unless I really push it for an emergency, like trying to escape, and then it's going to make that noise. But sometimes they, they are. They make the noise, and you don't know where it's coming from because they do look close all the way. But there is some plastic here that need to be push against each other to stop the alarm from going on so the rear door will do the same thing so sometimes they might seem to be close but they are not and that's the noise that you hear and i'll tell you another thing that can happen now that i'm here i want to talk about something that not all buses are the same i have a lot of different models right now here around me but um this bus in particular will be good to show you what i'm trying to tell you the parking brake when you get to the place this is the only stopping mechanism for this brake for these buses if this uh, brake is pushed down the bus will go on its own free and hurt somebody or or have an accident and we don't want that so but these buses have a safety uh, mechanism but that you turn it on right and you put it on gear it's running right now I hope you can hear it this is quiet okay uh, my feet are here I'm not pushing accelerator or brake nothing and then I release the brake now I will push the accelerator only and, and the bus is not moving, it's not going anywhere. Why? 
in order for me to release the brake and be able to move, I have to push the brake real hard, bring this up and down, the, the, the gear lever, and now release it, and, and it will move now. So I'm gonna turn it off. That's what happened when you, uh, if your bus doesn't want to move, that's what you need to do. Push the, the brake real hard, move this lever, push the brake, but while you're still pushing the brake hard. If you're planning on buying a bus, if you see a newer bus for sale, they're selling it for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's better to have a dinosaur that keep moving than having a brand new beautiful looking bus with air conditioning and all the nine yards but you're gonna keep breaking on Get you. familiar with your bus. Make sure you know where all those buttons are in the dark. You're not gonna have time to find it or look for it. Make sure you know what they're all for. Make sure you know what all these buttons are for, especially your wipers and light. All the buses with wheelchair lift are equipped with sensors that will keep the bus from moving if it senses the door is open or is not well closed. Sensors are located on more than one place. Make sure you know where all of them are. These small switches are very similar to the one you find on your car door. When you open the door, the light come on. So this functions the same way. This bar right here pushes the switch telling that the door is closed. Make sure you don't have another little switch on the back door. It's not all the time, but sometimes they have a small switch over here that also will keep the bus from turning on or getting out of neutral. This is how it looks from the outside. It has to be completely closed. This is open. Now when I bring it down, it's closed. Make sure you have it in the closed position like this. Make sure you don't catch your fingers with this door. There's no room for the fingers. You gotta be careful when you're closing this lever. Make sure your passengers don't come to the back door and play with this. There is no toy. This can cut your fingers. Be careful. Safety first. Remember that this is an emergency door. So when you open on case of an emergency, it will still lock when you open it completely out. And to close it, you have to extend it even more. Again, once again, you go to the right, completely open. Right now it won't close, but then you push it all the way open and now it will close. Right there. That is the safety uh, holder right there. Now you can bring it in just like this. But remember, if, if you have somebody on inside, make sure you bring this down slowly. Don't cut someone's finger, okay? I will be making a second video, second part of this, where I'm gonna be talking about breakdowns. Sometimes when the buses do break down, it's because uh, the cable got hot and all we have to do is kind of open this door. Let me explain. You will have to bring this battery tray. You pick this over here. You pull it all the way out and replace the fuse that are here. Okay, so you may want to keep this on your uh, back somewhere on, and uh, keep it back with some part and keep some of these fuses because they do go bad. If you don't have the fuse, just cut it before and after and put them together to make the bridge and then whenever you can, you, you need to replace the fuse and, and fix this, replace it with another or equal strength. It's obvious that that's not gonna be the only thing that can go wrong on your bus. Sometimes it's a relay. All of these are relays and they all are the same. You can smell for burnt or pull them out and, and see it. If they look burnt, you need to replace them. On this particular model, all of the relays are the same. You can switch them around. For example, you can see the one that is burnt and you can switch it for one that's in good condition. 
Now we're going to talk about heater. This is the heater valve. You will find two of them that you need to close. One and two. This way is closed. And this way is open. And this is another model with different looking valves. Both of them need to be closed in the summer. Otherwise the heat will go through even if you don't turn the heater on. Make sure they are closed. This is open, but you can turn it to the right like you close in a faucet. On part two of this video, you will find more explanation about the heater valve, how they work, how they operate, and where to find the valves. They are by the door side. And you close these two valves inside the hood, under the hood, and this one by the left foot of the driver is inside the cabin by the driver.